I would definitely have to say the home has helped me realize how much potential I have. They've given me ways to understand how I can use that. By being in the home, life is better because there's people here that helps me get through when I'm lonely. You just bond with people after a while. The most important thing that, that they have done for me is they gave me a sense of love, you know, knowing that people out there really care about me. I have the greatest job in the world, and I'm able to see firsthand how our program and our wonderful staff change the lives of the children placed here at the home. What makes the children's home unique and special are the people who work at the children's home. People don't come here just to work, they come here to make a difference in kids' lives. Everyone here is genuinely a team member, and everyone works hard to support each and every part of the organization so that we can be successful in providing the best services we can to the children that come here. We offer a wide variety of services. First and foremost, we offer group home care for our children placed and that reside at the home. We implement the teaching family model. On our on-ground school, we offer one-on-one -on -one education for our children. We also offer day school services, and we also have Christian education services that we provide. Um, can you have um, chocolate syrup and strawberries? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they can. You think that sounds good? Yeah, it sounds okay. good. I'm guessing that there'll be one or two that'll probably like that idea. So, mm -hmm. the Christian education program goes along well with the family teaching model. They um, develop their social skills, and through the outreach program, they have an opportunity to interact with other residents um, of the local care providers, and they practice those social skills that they've learned in the homes with their family teachers. <laughs> On our grounds, we have a, a recreational um, facility where children can go and play games and watch videos and play pool and have snacks. We have a weight room on the grounds. We have um, basketball courts. We serve youth here from ages 10 through 21. Children come here because they're having some emotional or behavioral difficulties that are causing uh, problems in other areas of their life, whether it be school or home. I had a lot of anger built up when I came in here, and I mean, they work with us so it won't be bottled up all the time. Many of the children that we serve at the children's home are survivors of what we would term complex trauma, and complex trauma refers to a child who has grown up in a setting which is very dysfunctional where there may be domestic violence within the home. For instance, we do have a child who was brought to the children's home through probation. The environment here at the children's home was very different from what he was used to. He was provided a safe, stable environment as well as individual and family therapy with his parents. The home has helped me establish a better relationship with my family by having family counseling and setting up home visits and talking to my family regularly. What makes the Indiana United Methodist Children's Home special and unique is the fact that we're implementing the teaching family model. It's a model of care that focuses on a family-style environment. We focus on independent living skills, social skills, and academic skills to teach our children. The American Psychological Association has recognized the teaching family model as an evidence-based practice model of care. Also, the Surgeon General has recognized the model as one of two major models of therapeutic home care. We have family teachers that live with them like a family, and they have um, the ability to teach the kids lots of things that most families would teach, how to eat dinner, how to prepare dinner, how to share, uh, who's going to take the first shower.
also our family teachers that work with our children have probably the absolute best job in the world and the most rewarding job that they'll ever have. We can have soup and salad. We can do that with maybe some bread, breadsticks, and we'll get some lettuce, we'll get and some we'll get some salad. carrots too. Oh, these are my favorites here. Have you guys ever tried these before? I love these. Yeah, they're my favorite. Cuties. The family teacher is uh, an example of a parent in a home environment teaching the children social skills so that they can be successful when they leave home. It shows appropriate, you know, father figure and a mother figure. How we start our morning is we get up at 6 a.m. and we wake our own children up. We have a nine-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter. And we get the other children up that's in our care. They all have different chores. Some might have chores in the morning, some don't. We get prepared to go to school and we encourage them. We ask them if there's anything particular happening on that day. I think one of the most important elements of the teaching family model is that it does provide trauma-informed care in a family-style environment. When they return from school, um, each one of the children will speak to us in regards to how their day was. And we use the point system for them to earn positive points to help develop their social skills. They uh, grocery shop together, they cook meals together, they make decisions as a family. And we're going to leave from here and go ahead and start working on your point sheet, okay? Family meeting is now adjourned. It teaches them how to get along with each other, how to share responsibility, how to do a, a good job, um, how to converse with others. Youth are served in an environment where that is uh, very empowering in that they participate in the decision making that occurs in the home through family meetings and self-government. They help in managing the home. They're all given responsibilities within the home, but in a, in a way that you might with your own child, rather than the institutionalized approach. We find it very rewarding uh, to develop healthy relationship with the children that come and stay in the home. I think the most rewarding thing is that I get to work directly with children and to see the growth and development through each day, each minute, and to see them come into a more healthy a lifestyle and know that when they do return home, they can, they can be a lot more successful. Throughout the years, there have been thousands of children that we were able to help and change their lives. We could not have done this without the help of the Indiana Conference and the many United Methodist churches throughout the state. Department of Children's Services motto is safely homes, family first. That is synonymous with the teaching family model. We believe in families first. I said, to myself, my wife, you can try all the rest, but if you want the best, you can come to Indiana United Methodist Children's Home because from the first person you meet to the last person you meet, you're going to find a level of quality and care. There has been countless needs that have been met through donations and through the love and the kindness that has been so openly shown to the Children's Home. I have many parents in tears in my office giving thanks for the wonderful donors of the United Methodist Churches in, in being able to help their families. That's who we are, that's what we do, and because of your, the support we see, we're able to continue doing that, and for that I say thank you.